Hello and welcome to another section in further maths. In this section, we'll be looking at the topic um, logical reasoning. But before that, let us review the previous lesson. Okay, welcome back. Um, I know you're not strange with this word logic. You know, um, when you talk about logical reasoning, the key word there is logic. Now, the first question we need to ask, what is logic? There's no big deal about the definition of logic. Logic is just about, um, it's a proper way. Or, you can use the word, a reasonable way of thinking about something and creating good judgment and creating good judgment about them now um i said um logic has to do with a proper way or a reasonable way of thinking okay this should be thinking thinking about something and creating good judgment about them now when we talk about them we're talking we're referring to the ideas that have been taught about so if for instance let me say for example if i should wake up in the, this um at this point in time to tell you things like um the capital of syria alone um doesn't exist that's that's been mad because for it to be called a country there should be a place that is that is being classified as a head now on your own you can just sit down and think and say no if you have a country then there should be a head that is ruling over the same country so that's one thing about logic logic gives you the insight of thinking and being creative when it comes to calculation and analyzing things around you now the key word that if you want to talk about logic the most important element that we use in dealing with logic is called a statement. You know, in your English language, you know, they always tell you we have sentences, we have statements, we have conversations, we have series of names that have been used in classifying things like this. But in logic, we only make use of statements, not just a sentence. Now, what is a statement? A statement in a logical context is a declaration, a verbal or written that is either true or false but not both so when an idea is either true or false or the certainty of a particular idea can be really gotten from thinking then you call that a logical statement if i should wake up and say a man was alive and today he's dead that's a logical statement because you can even ascertain the truth one need to be alive before the same person does what before the same person will give up a ghost but if i should wake up this morning to tell you that okay a man was dead then he rose up after burying him for um hundred years he woke up from the grave even you need to apply your brain in a in a context like this because you should understand that things like this are not commonly found so when you talk about logic a sentence a statement must be included for logic to be very active so statement in a logical sense is any assertion any comment that can be verified that is a statement so for example let me say if the said um if uh, is written or uh, either true or false but not both so any sentence whose truth value or falsehood cannot be ascertained is not a statement if i should say something like john is a boy this is a statement now let me tell you why i call it a statement i said john is a boy now you seen john it's only for you to look at him you know the features of a boy now after looking at him if john has some of those features or all the features that makes up a boy then you now say it is true but if john may looking at him john now has pictures of a lady everything of that of a lady 
and you discover that okay after going through and john even with himself telling you that he's not a boy he's a girl then such statement john is a boy becomes what false now this is actually a, a statement it is being classified as a statement because the certainty of this sentence can't be verified it's all left for me to know if it is true or false but if i say i wish you well i wish you well this is just a wish you can't say true i wish you well is true or i wish you well is false so since this this sentence cannot be verified if it is true or false so this is not a statement so making in a conversation going about saying words like i wish you well do you just made a sentence but it is not a statement a statement is a sentence whose validity can be verified as either being true or false now if you look below here we have i said the following are statements number one gambia is an african country now i call this a statement because it is still possible that gambia might not be an african country and it's possible that gambia is an african country so if you go into investigation analyzing it and you discover that gambia is in africa then you now say yes gambia is an african country you attach the word true to it that's to say i never lied the earth is conical in shape now you know what conical mean like a cone you know how a cone is now we're being told in our geography class that the earth is spherical some say the earth is gold some say this now you said now i'm here to tell you that the earth is conical in shape after verification you know um let me just say you you might not really have the opportunity of living um will i say the earth the internal part of the earth but with the help of geography your knowledge about the structure of the earth the shape of the earth and some um, scientific exploration that have actually taken place in the past into discovering the actual shape of the earth you can verify this and tell me that it is false that the earth is conical in shape that the earth looks like a cone of an ice cream and i know that's not the shape of the earth now if i run i shall not let that is true you can't compare running and walking now let me say for example you want to cover let me say this is um you want to cover a distance from banju which happens to be the capital of gambia to lagos you want to run from lagos to uh, from banju to lagos now if it actually takes um let me say four years four years for you to achieve your aim that is trekking from banju to lagos which happens to be the capital of nigeria now let me tell you the truth if you decide to run from banju to lagos definitely it will take you below four years it will take you either two years or three years so if you run you shall not be late you achieve your target at a better time that's one of the things about this so you can really clarify ascertain that running makes um a distance shorter so you get there at a shorter time so if i run i shall not be late you can sit and say okay it's a logical statement because you can ascertain if it is true or at the same time if it is false now japanese are hard-working people oh yeah 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 i think i believe in that because you can see from what they've done in science exploration of the earth in creation of techy trying to build some of the things that will make the world um, look like heaven but i know the world you know the earth is not heaven but japan china they're trying to do everything within their reach to see you can see them trying to create so many scientific um stuffs to make sure that man live comfortable on earth so with this you can really ascertain if those in japan are hard working or if they are lazy now after reading some journals encyclopedias and going through some of the discoveries about japan you can really ascertain the falsehood or the truth value of this sentence so the sentences um, you're having here gambia is in africa 
The F is conical. If I run, I shall not be late. Japanese are hard working people. All these are classified as statements because the validity of this statement can be verified, of this sentence can be verified as either being true or false. Now, one thing is that in logic, any sentence that is true will represent them with the word fi. And if it is not true, we now do what to it. We represent it with what? False. This is how sentences are being. So in logic, we have true or false. And in most times, we usually create um, a truth table that we use in um, representing each and every information that is being got from this. So now let's um, move forward. Now, um, if you check what I explained previously, let's see if the sentences we are having in front of us here are actually a sentence or a statement now the following are not st statements in the logical context can we just prove it who is he this is a question who is he is there anything like yes or no if i should tell you now to assign a truth value to this you can't assign anything definitely to it because it is just a question so you can't on your own say okay um, um who is he then you wake up to start telling me that yes he is or no he is not so it's a wrong listen so this is not a statement in the logical contest this is not a statement who is he but it's a sentence and we don't make use of it when it comes to logic now what a lovely man you can see the sign is a sign of exclamation this is exclamation and exclamations cannot be ascertained the, the, the validity of exclamation cannot be verified oh what a man can you say yes or can you say no for it so it's just wrong oh what a man it is just an exclamation so you cannot verify um in short there's nothing to verify in it now if it's now see take the pencil away it's a command this is a command take the pencil away can you say yes take the pencil away no take the pencil away or no don't take the pencil away no you cannot verify if that is true and another thing i want us to see here is if i think of my family if I think of my family, I think this should be classified as an expression. This is an expression. If I think of my family, yes or no cannot play any role here. I don't know if you understand. So yes or no cannot play a role here. So if you have any sentence that cannot be either yes or no, then in a logical context it is not a statement but rather just a sentence so with this you can see that we have questions exclamations commands expression you can even use the word feelings like i am hungry i am hungry i am hungry I feel like eating you can't say yes no things like this are not so in summary i can tell you that questions comma um i stated something here exclamation exclamation comma um what's the next okay command we also have command uh, we have expressions expressions comma we have feelings full stop okay let me use uh, feelings are not logical In context so 
the above under listed this in our questions exclamation command expressions feelings are not logical in context we don't use it in logic and in logic if a sentence is true you put true you will say questions exclamation command expression feelings all are not logical in context so we only use statements when we are dealing with logic now when we talk about negations we talk about the negative the word negations is coined from the word negative of what is being said so negation negation simply means negative from what is being said so if i should say um um banjo is the capital of egypt now get it banjul is the capital of egypt this is a sen- this is a statement you can apply it in logic because if, if from what you can see banjul is a place and egypt is also a place now after verification if the sentence let me say p stands for banjul is the capital of egypt now you can easily draw a table this is the nature of a fruit table this is p that symbolizes this statement so and this is minus p so if of the truth banjo is the capital of egypt you put it here now if banjo is not the capital of egypt but rather the capital of gambia then um th- this sentence is false so instead of if p is this so banjo is not the capital of egypt will be represented thus it looks like a sign of a negative approximation so if banjul is the capital of egypt so banjul is not the capital of egypt to be represented as this so you can see the table here if this is p and this is not p if p is true minus p will be false and if p is false minus p will be fruit i will tell you thanks for joining us in this section to refresh your memory on what we've just um discussed please take the test that will appear soon on your screen also do well to use the lesson notes on the platform for a better information on the topic we've discussed feel free to always drop a question on the comment section we'll be very glad and delighted to answer whatever question that is meant for us thank you see you in our next section.